What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today we have been bestowed upon a gift by Pangu. It is almost unbelievable for me to say this, but iOS 9.3.3 and iOS 9.3.2 have been jailbroken by Pangu. So the latest versions of iOS 9 can be jailbroken. However, it's not a clean cut. So this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning you guys will be able to run Cydia, run jailbreak tweaks, all that good stuff. However, just as soon as you restart your device, the battery dies, if you guys turn it back on, Cydia or jailbreak tweaks will not work. Meaning upon rebooting, you guys will need to run an app on your iPhone, the PP app, every time in order to get tweaks and Cydia working again. It takes about 30 seconds max, but again, this is semi-tethered. It's not completely untethered, but hey, it's really, really close. Either way, I mean, I can't complain. I'd rather take this over anything. So uh, let's go ahead and jailbreak your device on iOS 9.3.3. Just to show you guys, I will be on this firmware version. Now, how can you get the best possible shot at jailbreaking your device. First off, if you guys are on a lower iOS 9 firmware, absolutely update to 9.3.3. Really guys, there's no reason not to. Right now at this point in time, it's jailbroken and it might even receive an untethered jailbreak with time. We don't know that for sure, but it's just good to be on the latest firmware. So go to 9.3.3 if you're planning on jailbreak using this method. We don't know if uh, they will be releasing a jailbreak on earlier versions, so that's up to you if you want to decide to wait on earlier uh, versions. Maybe they release a fully untethered jailbreak on that one. Who knows? So if you guys do want to go to 9.3.3 though, I would uh, do a clean restore to that or an update. It's really up to you, but clean restore to 9.3.3, back up all your stuff, put it back. But uh, next up, you guys want to go ahead and remove touch ID. So if you guys do have a passcode on, turn it off and it would help to sign out of iCloud just in case, you know, in the past it has been a recommendation and put your device into airplane mode. And uh, yeah, it's in airplane mode. <laughs> we are ready to do this. So I'm gonna link you guys to the official Pangu website right here. And this is what you guys will see. So you guys wanna go ahead and scroll down here and download the PP Assistant right here. So it's a little bit of a process. It's not a completely one-click solution just yet, but it will not be very difficult. So on your desktop, this is what you're gonna see, the PP Jailbreak Assistant, basically. So we wanna go ahead and right-click on that, run as administrator. Select yes, and uh, we are gonna keep going here. So you wanna go ahead and click this, and it's gonna begin installing this assistant. And it's only gonna take a few seconds here, but in a moment here, I should have this installed, and I'm gonna click on this. Now, I know it's all in Chinese. We cannot understand this, but my firewall is blocking some part of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and allow access just uh, to have this not be interrupted. And I do just wanna say that this is only for 64-bit devices. So iPhone 5S and up, if you guys have an iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, this will not work. And we don't know if there will be a jailbreak for those devices just yet, but this is only 5S and above. I mean, who knows if those devices, the earlier ones, will even get this jailbreak. So if you have a 6S, iPhone 6, 5S, you know, you guys will be good. And that same goes for iPads and iPod Touches as well. As far as iPads go, iPad mini 2 and above and iPad Air and above. And if you guys are wondering why jailbreak, I'm gonna have some annotations for you right there so you guys can go ahead and see the reasons why you should and shouldn't jailbreak on iOS 9. And in particular, there's another reason semi-tethered jailbreaks just don't have the convenience that a fully untethered one would. So there's the added doubt of that. But otherwise, uh, this should be good. I've heard from some people that this is pretty stable. But as far as jailbreaks go, you should always hold out a few days. Uh, Pengu will be updating their tool, updating the jailbreaks. So you don't have to experience all the crashing that normal people do when they adopt the jailbreak so early. But if you guys want to go ahead and run this, we can keep doing this. All right. So at this page, go ahead and click this big green button here. Uh, basically, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and plug your device in, which mine isn't. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is of course click the very big green button. I mean, it's the obvious one, and it's gonna go ahead and load, and load, and load. It does take a while, it took about 10 minutes for me before you get the captcha, uh, but go ahead and input the captcha. I'm gonna do that, T-E-W-J, and this is gonna go ahead and install the profile on your device. So go ahead and hang out in settings, general, and scroll down to the profiles. In a minute here, we should see a new profile tab up here if you don't have it already. And we're gonna go ahead and trust it for this guy right here. Now, at one point in time, it may ask you for your Apple ID. So you wanna go ahead and input that if you are prompted to do so. It is in process. Again, 
Let's give it a few minutes. I've never run this before, so I'm walking through this with you guys as I am with myself. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, and there we go. Just like that, we have a new tab for device management. In here, go ahead and select this and trust it. So yeah, it's all in Chinese, a little shady, but go ahead and trust that. And now go to your device and click on the PP jailbreak icon. So go ahead and trust that. And we're gonna go ahead and click right there. And this is what you'll see. So go ahead and lock the display and the jailbreak process will continue. So from here, just keep waiting. All right, so just sit on the lock screen. It's gonna take a while, but the jailbreak is running right now in the background. And there's nothing you do from here. Just keep waiting. It may take a while, but there's absolutely nothing you need to do here from the lock screen. Don't restart it. Yeah, your device is unresponsive, but that is completely normal. That is how the exploits for this jailbreak work. So your device will automatically restart that's how you know it did work so in a minute here I'll be right back all right so my device has restarted we're gonna go ahead and jump into here and we should have Cydia on our device wow <laughs> what a sight guys for sore eyes here Cydia on my iOS 9.3.3 device so for me, this is unbelievable. Now guys, the very first thing you want to install is Apple File Conduit. So we're gonna go ahead and search for Apple File Conduit 2. So this is what's required in order to tether boot your device. So this is absolutely a must. Go ahead and install this right away. I just wanna give you guys a little warning right now. At this point in time, so many things will not work. Don't go about just installing everything right away. Give it a moment, guys. This is a jailbreak, but it will take time for things to become supported. So if there are any updates, so let's go ahead and install them right now. Uh, just to ensure stability but if not there should be a new update soon and nobody's guaranteeing a fully untethered jailbreak but at this point in time i'm so happy even to get this so i'm going to go ahead and install a tweak real quick uh, let's say something like zeppelin just to see how this whole thing works so we're going to see if tweaks are currently working right now and if they are and i restart my device what do i need to do in order to make things work again all right so as you can see i do have that tweak working i'm going to restart my device and see what happens here all right so i can see that the tweak has stopped working so we're going to jump into the pp jailbreak app cydia nothing is working here so i'm going to click on this and lock our device again so as far as I can tell, you can do this part without a computer. It'll go ahead and restart your device and things should start working. And guys, I did want to add a clarification. So in order to get your device fully you know, jailbroken again after each reboot or every time your battery dies, all you need to do is run this jailbreak, get in here, click this, and uh, lock your device. So it will actually go ahead and respring. So it's gonna sit here for about a few minutes. Eventually you guys will have a working Cydia and tweaks again, just so you know uh, how this process works. Just leave it on the lock screen and eventually you guys will have a working Cydia again. You do not need a computer to get the semi-tethered part working again, which is the best part. So thanks so much for watching guys. That is the jailbreak. Stay with this channel. As things get developed, I will be updating my guides and everything, but as far as it goes that's as simple as it is right now uh, pretty much just plug in your device type in the captcha type in your apple id do the profile and you know the rest from there is really simple so that is how to jailbreak your device in ios 9.3.3 9.3.2 and wow i will be keeping you guys with this with everything there is to know about this so enjoy the jailbreak guys again remember if you are not successful in doing this now just wait just wait a couple days uh, the jailbreak tool will be updated and it will be much better with time. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy the jailbreak. Peace.